Today, central HVAC systems are standard equipment in almost every vehicle around the world. Like a centrally heated or cooled home, passengers achieve comfort when a certain air temperature is reached in the cabin. In the automotive industry, the performance of these central HVAC systems is simply measured by the time it takes to reach a comfortable air temperature in the cabin. Unfortunately, measuring only the air temperature in the vehicle does not capture the performance benefit of heated and cooled seats, neck warmers, heated interiors, and heated steering wheels, which all have a significant impact on occupant comfort. ClimateSense is Gentherm's innovative microclimate thermal solution for the emerging electric vehicle market. ClimateSense enables localized heating and cooling products to be automatically controlled in cooperation with Central HVAC. This provides efficient, effective, and personalized comfort. We want to show you our innovative system and methodology that we have developed at Gentherm to objectively measure the performance of microclimate heating and cooling systems in combination with central HVAC. We at Gentham partnered with the Fraunhofer Institute for Building Physics to develop new automotive comfort measurement methodology. The aim was to predict thermal state of an occupant in the highly non-uniform environment of a vehicle cabin. We developed an objective measurement system which captures the impact of microclimate heating and cooling as well as the central HVAC on occupant comfort. The measurement system uses a combination of variable equivalent homogeneous temperature or EHT sensors and surface temperature sensors. Each of the 22 EHT sensors captures local air temperature, air velocity and radiation around the occupant. The 12 surface temperature sensors measure the contact surface temperatures of areas such as the seat and the steering wheel in the vehicle. Using real-time data from these sensors, we can estimate the heat transfer to the occupant from all sources and calculate the overall thermal sensation. The proposed objective performance goal would be time to achieve neutral sensation versus to reach a specified cabin air temperature. As the system gives real-time output of all above-mentioned parameters, it helps reduce the time and effort for combining and analyzing the raw data in post-processing versus some of the other systems in the market. Our wearable EHT and contact temperature sensors use a wireless interface to connect to industry standard CAN tools. Each wireless sensor is calibrated and configured for a specific body segment. They are snapped into place and powered on accordingly. Standard configuration screens can be made with the data that we are interested in collecting for each body segment prior to the test beginning. We know from Nielsen's work on occupant comfort that each segment of the body will have slightly different ranges of temperatures that will feel comfortable. Our system and data acquisition software allows us to measure overall EHT and estimate thermal sensation and also local EHT and local sensation values. This way, we can isolate and evaluate the impact of specific products for example, the rapid increase of air temperature when using our neck warmer, or evaluating the impact of interior heating by looking at the local EHT of the thighs or arms of the passenger. When calibrating and tuning an HVAC and microclimate system, it is important to achieve comfort for all areas of the body. The system enables us to objectively measure and make sure that we achieved the best comfort setting. Now, we are able to objectively measure the performance of localized heating and cooling with central HVAC in real time. Our goal is to continue to bring our OEM customers best-in-class thermal products and service. As your partner, we also bring our thermal physiology expertise and systems-level solutions, such as our innovative comfort measurement system we've shown you today. At Gentherm, with our ClimateSense microclimate solution, we are taking technology to the next degree.